and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Rachel. I am, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am back to do my January favorite book review. And that book was Black Eyed Peas and Hoghead Cheese by Glinda Armand and artist is Steffi Walthall. And essentially this book is about a little girl helping her grandmother prepare foods for their family's New Year's celebration dinner. But it's more than that as well. This is an African-American story and the little girl while helping prepare these foods is also learning about her heritage and her culture. If I remember right, the little girl is from California. That's where her family lives currently. But the little girl has come back to the South. I think it was Louisiana. It's been a while since I've read this. To come together as family. Now, the one item she's really excited to make with her grandmother are pralines. But there are other things that they need to make first because they take longer to set or longer to prepare and pralines are the dessert and they're a little bit faster. So there's an order to how the foods need to go. And as she is helping grandma, she's asking grandma questions. Like for the hoghead cheese, it's not really cheese, but why do they do this? And grandma talks about, well, this is something we used to prepare when we were slaves. And so it has cultural meaning. And this is, it's not really cheese, but this is how it was prepared. I'm gonna let you read the book and find out about that one. Um, also talked about the history of the foods that they were eating. For example, like black eyed peas. Black eyed peas actually came from Africa. So it was something that their ancestors brought with them. Inadvertently, maybe, maybe not on purpose, but it was something that was theirs culturally to begin with. And talked about the meaning behind it, which if I ever eat black eyed peas, I'm definitely going to have a different outlook on them. And then looking at the artwork, it was great to see all different shades of skin color represented. I mean, just because this is an African American story about an African American girl and her family, it shows how everyone's skin color is different within that community. So they're not all the same. Their hairstyles are different. What they choose to wear is different. But they're coming together because they're family, so it doesn't matter the things that make them look visually different because, because they all have the same community connection for this book. We watched the little girl with her grandmother prepare all these foods, and then you have family who brought other foods as well. So really, the little, little girl helped prepare these meals, and these are significant, but there are other meals that are also significant. Like, I really like that the theme of this book is, like, you know, food as community, because they're coming together to eat. They're coming together to share with each other. And I adored it. I gave this 10 across the Copile scale, and definitely think that everyone should read this. It's a children's book. That doesn't matter. As an adult, you should go read it. And if you have read it, please let me know down below. And side note, I just realized I forgot to say, I heard about this book from Ashley over at Bookish Realm. She's a children's librarian and she has fantastic reads. What she, she I know she feels like she does not do recommendations for books, but really the book she talks about always end up being a recommendation for me because I'm like, ooh, that sounds interesting. I want to read that. So thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.